can't say I approve of the woo, but the raw was quite heartening. Hmm. This, this is a special, special broadcast, broadcast of MCTV Live. This special live broadcast of the first annual MCHS Science Challenge is brought to you by Frontier Honda. By Colorfast. By the Provincial Museum of Alberta. By the Matar Conservatory. By the Edmonton Eskimos and by the Edmonton Travers. Hi, I am Dr. Mark Wolven. And I am Dr. Shane Marchuk. How are you doing? We're here with our first, first annual science challenge from MCHS. Dave Belly designed that. I think that's, Did he? that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Very nice. Anyway, uh, I'd just like to begin by telling you all that the howler, this very howler, is on sale right now in the bookstore. Go Come on. It. All you go get this. This is like the final edition. This is the big one. Look at this. Thick. It's full. It's Jam quarter. One quarter. You will love it. It's also only one quarter. Come on. Come on. Just a quarter. Just All right. On. Anyway, I'd just like to begin by doing something a little scientific here. Uh, Shane, I mean, this will require some blood. This is the actual what? microscope here that will portray what we see here on the TV screen. Blood? Blood. Yes, blood. Uh, uh, this, this won't hurt are you sure? exceptionally much. Uh, um, okay. Oh, come on. All right. You know, uh, my trusty scalpel? What? Scal are, you, are you sure about this? Oh, it won't hurt a bit. Just look away. Just look away. This will be fun. Okay. First of all, I just need a little blood. Just a little. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. oh that's that's just a flesh oh. wound. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> and as soon as this starts the to read, technology. there it goes. Should Let's come up here. on the screen. Just Hello, and welcome to the first annual MCHS Science Fair. I'm David Lamro. And I'm James Kilworth. And we're here to give you a little bit of insight on what the rules are. First of all, the passenger compartment to be prepared in advance will be a 500 milliliter cr cereal cream carton. The carton may be modified to some extent, but may not be exceeding the dimensions of seven centimeters by seven centimeters by 15 centimeters. The compartment must weigh 750 grams or less. The second rule is that a, var a variety of packaging material may be used inside the container to reinforce the structure. The passengers must be placed in seats that resemble automotive seats. And the car will be weighed on an electronic balance at the registration desk. The mass will also be recorded. Two registered passengers will be provided at registration time. The passengers must be placed inside the passenger compartment and handed into the launch master before 12.15 p.m. May 17th, 1995. The car must be marked with the name of the team. And no parachute or auxiliary attachments other than masking tape will be allowed on the outside of the container. Judging criteria, points will be awarded as follows. Survival of passengers. Two eggs broken, no crack, 75 points. One egg broken, no crack, 30 points. One egg crack, not broken, 25 points. One egg broken, 20 points. Minus 20 points. That's over. And the weight of container, the lightest container, will be awarded 20 points. The next 15, the next 20, etc. All right, and we'll be going back to the studio now, so. Goodbye, we'll right. be back. Back with more of Science Fair 95. Hello, we're back in the studio, and now I'm with Brian Warbeck. And Brian, I understand you went on the PE30 bike trip. Could you tell us just a little about that before we show you some clips? Oh yeah, sure. It was a great trip. We went from the David Thompson Resort in beautiful David Thompson Country, Alberta, all the way to, uh, almost all the way to Jasper. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the bad weather kind of stopped us. So we'll, uh, we did some 
videotaping while we were here, and we'll show you some clips. The first ones are mostly interviews and uh, just talking with the people before the trip, before we leave. And the second one, well, you'll have to wait and see that one. All right. Uh, could you just uh, give us a little, maybe a little allusion to what might be on the second tape? It involves real. All right, here we go. Hi, how you doing here? We just had a little bit of an explosion of uh, the balloons. balloons. They're all gone, so it seems that this science fair is over. Or at least delayed for about 10, 20 minutes while they're about oh, to they're set it up again. Yeah, blow us more balloons. But while we're doing that, we might as well uh, interview, interview some, some teachers. Uh, how about... Uh, okay, actually we won't be interviewing right now, so uh, thank you for coming out. And hopefully we'll get those balloons jacked up right away. Thanks. Well, hi, we're back. I guess that was an emergency cut to the science challenge where they lost the weather balloons. That's the impression I'm under. Anyway, if the people in the back could now please show the bike trip clips. We'd really appreciate that. That'd be great. That would just be Thanks. great. We're here at Morville Community High School, and it is... 7.07 .07 on a Thursday morning and we're getting ready to leave for the bike trip as you can see over here. Uh, we're going to be gone for about three days going from Klein River to beautiful Jasper, Alberta. And we'll be bringing you reports from all over the mountains uh, anytime we can get our hands on the cameras from the support truck. So, And here we are with Kim Stevenson who is brightly dressed. How are you doing Kim? I'm awake. Okay. It's better than most of us. <laughs> I, I'm just getting prepared <laughs> for, see I already got my, I slept with this on last night to get prepared and stuff. That's preparation. So Scott, you ready for this bike trip? Yes I am. Good morning. I'm just morning. proud and honored to be your bus driver for this trip. Uh, I hope I can live up to the standards of quality that you expect. <laughs> Tasty right. peanut! Huh? huh? Tasty! You didn't get any early. Some of these teachers here are dedicated to the fine standard of excellence upheld by the Mournville Community High School. Uh, Jeff. Jeff the Wire. Yeah. Two bucks for this thing. <laughs> Two bucks? <laughs> Two bucks? <laughs> Two bucks? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to agree. That's a ripoff. That's a rip -off. Our Some kilometers to the Rampart Creek Hostel from here in Klein River. Uh, I actually got attacked by a bear in this campground, so I don't recommend tent trailers at this campground at all. Okay, Miss Kruger here has gotten the job of uh, kind of drawing the first person to have to drive the bus rather than ride. How do you feel about it? I'm a little nervous because I've never driven a bus before. Actually, I did drive it once, but that was one block. And now I have to drive it over 40 kilometers. Through the mountains at, at that. It's By myself. <laughs> so if we pass a flaming bus wreck, you know who it was. I was heading down the lovely, lovely view in the background of the Rockies. And it seems that, yeah, I believe we found it. Shin, we found it. We found the theory. It is. Of it is relativity. true. All right. It seems that E equals MC TV squared. Not E equals MC TV. Albert Einstein was wrong. We have just discovered it. We have it. proven the theory. Just, just have a look. Can we just zoom in on this, please? Just, come on. This is important scientific research. This will change the minutes world and minutes. as we know it. Look out, Shane. Right here. Down, down, Terry. Down, down, down. There it is. Now just pan across here. This, this is our, our theory, right here. It all works out. The theory of unrelativity. Theory of unrelativity, and it works out to MC TV. Yes, beautiful. All right, all right. Now let's just have a look at some of the equipment on this, uh, on this nifty counter that we have. Like this. Because this is science days, we brought down some miscellaneous things. This here is a solar... You broke it. I broke it. You touched it. I broke it, I touched it. Uh-oh. Anyway, we will now send you off to the science challenge where you'll be seeing some interviews 
with various people down there, with Exciting James Kilworth people. and all his Here people. Here we go. Right now. Science challenge, boys. Well, um, we have one of the teachers that helped organize the science challenge. Our first question is, uh, who do you think was the most ingenuitive carton or container? Um, well, so far we had one from this gentleman here and his partner, and um, both of them were contained inside a container with jello, and both of the eggs did not break. Okay. So, so far that's been the best one. Oh. Can you tell us how you came up with the jello concept? Well, Actually, it's just, you know, common sense, because I, I was going to use something else, but I thought we tried it and it didn't work, so then I just thought of the impact, something to uh, something to absorb the impact, and I just thought of Jell-O. All right, well, uh, Ms. Kruger, uh, is there uh, a little bit of disappointment now that uh, the, the balloons have flown away and uh, it's kind of ruined until Monday, I suppose? We're a little bummed out. We're a little bummed out. The balloons took off on us, and unfortunately... Um, we've lost them all, but you know, Monday's another day, and we'll continue on with this great event. Right, and that was a uh, great event it was. All right, so uh, anyways, uh, also, uh, so uh, the prizes come from who? We, uh, we got some prizes from the Edmonton Space Science Center, and then I went to West Ed, and I picked out some stores that had some science-y kind of theme prizes, and I went and I got them. Well, there you go, folks. There you have it. The okay. Science Fair 95. And, uh, you know, we just like to say thank you for all the people out there who uh, came yep. out and enjoyed the science-ness of the science fair. All uh, thank you, Mrs. Kruger, for your organizational Thanks. skills. Welcome back. And, uh, Mark here, uh, what, what, what did you do over your weekend? You just have to be excited about it. Well, uh, actually, our director, Mark Gangnon, back there. Mark Gangnon, sorry. Gangnon is, well, he went bungee jumping twice, bungee as a matter of fact. Jumping. Bungee jumping. At the Extreme Bungee Company here, we got some pamphlets. Uh, let me just tell you a little about a bungee jump. What happens is, you pays your money, you takes your chances, you go up the stairs, they, they tie you up. Yeah, they pretty much... Sure. But okay. give it, Shane here is example. just going to give us a little demo this here. Now what they do is, uh, stand, up like stand up and uh, they tie your feet together. Tie your feet together. Okay, like uh, right there. Like then you get ready and I'm just going to dive out here and just show you an example of it. Okay, here we go. Dive? No, no. Bungee jump? No, 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 I don't think so. No. All right, okay. Anyway, Mark Gagnon did that. Then we went to the Hard Rock Cafe. It was a great day. Uh, we made a segment called Extreme. Made another one. Made a clip from the bungee jump. Hard Rock Cafe. Beautiful. The billiards club pockets we went to. We Let's go. have a look. Bungee jumping in a few near moments you'll be watching Mark Gagnon plummet to his impending death from a 105 foot tower. Hi, I'm Mark Wolf and I'm here at the West Edmonton Mall Laurel Water Park where our director Mark Gagnon is about to go and plummet to his impending death from that little tower right there. That's right. Mark is actually gonna try this little bungee jump thing. He's got two jumps and we're gonna get right back at you. Top of the tower, so look down. We're uh, we're kind of high up right now. 105 feet. 105 feet exactly. Okay. This is Mr. Mark Gagnon, like I said before, he's our director. Mark, how do you feel? No fear. Totally, it's awesome. Okay, so uh, it doesn't make you nervous to think of the fact that we're about to plummet head first to 105 feet. No, it doesn't. Well, I'm happy for you, Mark. Let's have a look. Let's go see what he's going to do.
over now. Oh. Right? Take adrenaline rush? Oh yeah. So you gotta do it again? Maybe sometime. Maybe sometime. You ever thought about parachuting? Yeah, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Thinking about it, yet. yeah. 18th birthday, that's where I am. We'll go together, eh? You bet, okay. Well, that was extremely good bungee jumping. Uh, any closing comments or Mark? I, re I recommend it to anybody. It's awesome. How about the price? <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth the price of admission. It's worth the price. All right, I'm Mark Wolven, and that's an extreme look at bungee jumping. Pretty exciting stuff. I really like that shit. Man. They're pretty lucky. The guy that was bungee jumping was uh, Mark. Okay. Mark said Mark Gangong or something. I don't know. Whatever. His name. He's getting mad. Mark Gangyong. Gangyong. He said like so. When, you, when next time you see him, say Mark Gangyong. Okay. So I heard uh, you just show the bike trip. You gonna show some more of that or what? Yeah, we're gonna show some more clips. Uh, we got some running into a real cold water stream. I've done that before. It was it's cold. Nearly suicidal. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand. Who was with you on the bike trip? Was it a... Oh, uh, well, we had a bunch of Phys Ed 30 students. We also had uh, Mr. Maslick, Ms. Kruger, and Mr. Henderson, Mr. Henderson going, yeah. so... Sounded like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it was. So, uh, what are you going to do next time? Next year, do you, do you get, a plan, get a plan for next year? Yeah, I'm probably going to university, so... Okay, I guess we'll have good trips, and uh, here you go. It sounds really exciting. And so we'll let's... have some cold water stream running. Yes. Here we are with a great 12 bike trip at the Round at the Rampart River, and uh, here's the MCHS Polar Bear Club. Always oh, time for an interview. How you doing, Ty? <laughs> <laughs> you cold? Oh yeah. Hi there. Here at Sun Wapta Falls, where the bike trip has just been canceled. Uh, yeah, as you can see, so happy. lots of snow. It's I would snowing. Like <laughs> we're gonna edit about every shot. <laughs> low visibility is what has canceled the bike trip. It's not because we're too much of a wimp. It's Mr. Henderson, so. Yeah, you know, Mr. We Henderson. Go. But you know what we're doing anyways? We're still gonna jump in the lake. Yeah, we don't even care. Let's jump, woo! So next time you see us, we'll be all wet. Come on, Justin. wet. When you're alone, just keep going. Thank you. Hi. We're here now, back at our little haunt of the mines. Our little science laboratory. Our little what science say. lab. And we're um, here to uh, just send you off to the science challenge. Yeah, I guess go back, uh, get some more, uh, they may or may not have retrieved the balloons. I guess it's your job to find out. It's the second time they've canceled the science second challenge. Second time. If they have to cancel it again, I'm going to be like, seriously like, ticked. I'll get mad. I'll I tell you. I just That's can't it. do it. Come on. I don't have the power. You'll have to. Uh, uh, some way you'll have to. Some way. Somehow. Somehow I will. Somehow. Do, I will do it. So we get back to the science challenge, really exciting when we, stuff. When we come back here, I'll be giving you Tiffany's entertainment. She can't be here for the show, so I'll do it. And we'll be dissecting a sandwich. So right now, we're going to send you the science challenge with James Kilworth and Dave. Alrighty then, here we are. We're getting some score updates here. I'm, I think that the, the tides have turned now. Since they've been throwing the uh, eggs from the roof, as we can see here on the floor, if you get a close-up on that. Get a close-up on this here. Yeah. That's Poor some thing. of the damage here. That's Not a loser. Not very good container, is All right, there? So, hey guys, hey gentlemen, can we get a, a score update here? We've got a slaughter by Eggs Benedict and Leon Kobielka with 75 points. Next closest team is minus 40. Whoa. All right there, folks. There you have it. We have a, a hands-down winner here at the Science Fair 95. 
Science Challenge 95. 95. All right, so um, now we'll uh, go over to uh, Miss Kruger if we can find her. Oh, she's busy. Yeah. So we're going to go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Miss Jen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ask you some questions here. Hello, Miss. Miss Jen. Hi. How's oh. it going? How was your event? Oh, this is, I think it's the, probably one of the best first event I've ever participated in. And how did you get on the roof? Well, actually, Mr. Menyon let us in from uh, the staff room. There's a staircase going up, and we just went right up. It's a beautiful sight up there. Oh, I see. All right. Well, yeah. It looks quite kind of nice. We sure would like to have a show up there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, all right, and uh, the winner, I guess, is yeah. Eggs Benedict, right? Eggs Benedict, right on. Okay. Well, there you go, really folks. Eggs Benedict. Here's we're going back to the studio. See you later. Ship. Hi. How you doing? We're uh, back. I'm going to deliver some entertainment. First, I'll begin by starting with the movies. Take it over, Mark. Uh, Thank you. The new movie, Johnny Mnemonic, starring Keanu Reeves, opens tonight. Go see that one. It looks good. Mad Love with Drew Barrymore and Chris O'Donnell. Also, Casper starts tonight. I don't know about Casper. You might want to have a look. Okay, the movies that are running at Village Tree Mall, the ones that are worth having a look, are Die Hards with a Vengeance, Village of the Damned, Outbreak, Bad Boys, Forget Paris. Uh, at the Dollar Theater, we've got Legends of the Fall, Forrest Gump, and Dumb and Dumber. Uh, those are the only ones that are really worth having a look at. You have to look at that? You have to throw those. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, news from the Rev. Crash Vegas, all right, May 27th. I'm going there. That would be tomorrow. tomorrow. No minors, Shane. Uh. Uh, sorry, you know, no minors, it applies. It's a club. Uh, June 3rd, at the Rev, you can see the odds. Again, it's a no minors event. Want to hang on to that, Shane? Thanks. Yeah. In Edmonton, the Vinok Folk Dance Ensemble at the Arden Theatre, May 26th and 27th at 8 p.m. and at May 28th at 2 p.m. You can call Ticketmaster at 451-8000 or for tickets at 459-1542. Gotta recycle these things. Gotta recycle those. Yes. Susan Agu-Clark is at the Mayor Horwitz Theatre, May 29th. You might want to write that down, Shane. That right. sounds like a good time. <coughs> Call Ticketmaster again at 451-8000. Thank, oh, thank you, Shane. You. The, youth, the Youth Talent Search. Youth Talent Search. Is at the Millwood Center. Entry forums at the booth in the mall. Or call 465-3085. This could be your big chance. Okay, quickly, let's do this science experiment here. You think Want to do this science experiment here? Take it quickly. Get over here. Go All on. Right. Pano. Go on. Right in here. 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 We are going to try an experiment. Never tried before. We're going to dissect a sandwich made by his mom. Okay. My mom. Okay. Come on. Let's ready. just begin by opening this up. Take, take a look in here. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. Okay. You just gotta All right. peel this apart here. Wow, uh, Shane starts dissecting this. Hey, I'd look, like to tell you about a name that segment this section looks. here. It's, uh, well, what we do is we follow someone in a day of life. Don't eat that! Oh, my God! Oh, God. No! No! Oh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Jeff? Thank you for allowing us to interview you and hopefully understand you better. Now, I understand you're currently in grade 10 and this is your first year in Mournville. What has been your impression of Mournville and the new school of MCHS? Um, Mournville's the best place to live. It's one of the coolest places I've ever lived. And yes, I'm in grade 10. And, uh, and uh, um, the school is just great. How do you generally start your day? Me? I generally start my day by getting up and going into the washroom and doing some stuff in the washroom, like washing and then... I'm What are your favorite sports? Well, I'm ba basketball is basically the only sport I play. What do you personally think of your athletic talents? It's not there. No? So you don't have a girlfriend, but is there any particular girl you really like? Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a couple, but overall, there's the one I like the most is person should I do I have to name a person or that'd be good okay it's 
Happens to be April Fuller, but. Hiya. Sir, what is your opinion on Jeff and his athletic talents? Jeff and his athletic talents? I think the talent that Jeff has is his enthusiasm is just tremendous. Who do you consider to be your best friend and why? My best friend in the school. I don't have a best friend. I like, I like have lots of friends. I have lots of friends. Like, I mean, I can't pick one friend because everybody in the school is so great, and all my friends are so great. I'm going to try and do a dunk, which probably won't be very successful because I got no air. What is Jeff Mujbar Moore's one goal or mission in life? To have fun and to score a ba point in a basketball game. Shane, stop out of it! Shane, are you okay? Oh. Shane! Oh! 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 Wake up. oh. 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 Oh, okay. oh. Yes. What'd okay. you put in there? That's full of calcium. All oh, right. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that was what we call the name that segment segment. Uh, so that's a contest for all you kids out there who want to name that segment. If you have a good name for it, you can email Jennifer Hodnot, okay, with your name. Please don't write any obscenities. Uh, Shane, bring that sandwich back here. We're not done dissecting it. There you go. It was moving. It's, it's moving? It's, it's mo okay. It's, 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 you, can, you can just continue dissecting this, and I'll just... Uh, okay. Be careful. Here you go, your scalpel. Okay. Oh, oh it seems that Eggs Benedict is the winner. News breaking story. Eggs Benedict won this the science in. challenge. In. Eggs Benedict, ladies and gentlemen. Can't finish this. Let's have uh, a look at this. All right. Well, this is for all those romper people. Well, I guess I can't do it. We'll get you to your next show. See you bye later. Bye-bye. That's been bye -bye. MCTV.